back. This is a more of an educational video. If you are a Thinkorswim user and you would like to watch heat map of the market while it's open, while it's moving, what's going on, maybe generate trade ideas or you just want to utilize this tool that this huge platform has, I just want to show you a couple things that may be helpful for you. So let's get started. So let's say this, so this is the layout that I have more for my thinkorswim, right? But let's go back to charts, right? Let's say typically you see your chart here, right? And on top right here, you're gonna have a lot of um, tabs, say monitor, trade, analyze, scan, and market watch. So I want you to click on market watch and of market watch, you will see a uh, sub tab right here, which has quotes, alerts, and visualize. So you're gonna press on that. On visualize tab, you can have on the left hand side right here, little column here, where you will see watch lists. You could have a heat map for your watch list, or you can just look at What's going on with the indices? I look at a lot indices, what's going on during a day just to see, okay, so how strong is the S&P 500? Like what stocks is moving S&P 500? Or what stocks are moving Dow Jones? And it's very easy to come here. Let's pull up the indices here on top right here on the, on the left um, column. And I'm gonna press on Dow Jones. If I press here, you will see all the stocks, ticker symbols, uh, that are in this um, indice included 30 stocks and pretty much last Friday so I'm just gonna go by the stats that we already have market is closed the biggest gainer was Microsoft right and by looking at this you can say hey okay so from 30 stocks there are only a few down let's say 3M, Intel, Visa, Coca-Cola, Amgen, but the rest of the stocks are advancing, they're pushing higher. So also another way to look it up, let's say you wanna trade, right? You wanna know what stock is the strongest. So you don't wanna trade the indice. You might be looking at the Dow Jones. So this is a mini Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, so futures. So you might be looking at this chart and say, okay, so it's trading at 50 day moving average, sitting at that support. So what could I go long at this point? If you don't, if you're not futures trader, let's say. You could go to market watch, take a look at these stocks. And one more thing here you could do is right here on a visualization tab, it says heat map. You can change this tab to indice index watch and it will bring you this page very very useful i love to look at this name uh, this index watch throughout the day every day at least i come here once it will sh it will it will show you what stocks are advancing and what stocks let me change the uh here also you have to change so you you you, you on index watch you have to select on your watch list, let's say, let's go find Dow Jones Industrial Average. So here you will see 25 stocks were advancing while five stocks were declining. And you will also see the volume, how much total capital was involved in the movement of all those names throughout the day and you will see the list of stocks here as well. And here, when you put your cursor right here, you will see, you can just go take a look at, okay, Apple, it was up 1% or Amgen was 0.3. So you can go through here, the higher the column, green column right here is the biggest gainer. So at, at the open, let's say, if all stocks were slightly green and but one stock was showing you that throughout the indice, let's say Microsoft was advancing more than any stock else, you could pick Microsoft and say, oh, yeah, I'm gonna play Microsoft. I think there's more attention to this stock. 
So that's that. And also another thing on a heat map, let's say you are following, like let's say I have created a watch list. You can create heat map for your watch list. Let's say instead of watching S&P 500 or Russell 2000, what's going on with NASDAQ, I have my personal watch list, which is down here. I have blue chips that I'm interested in, stocks that I'm watching, and I can see in my watch list what's going on with the stocks that I'm watching, or I have a work from home watch list. So look at this name. So you can argue with some stocks here, but I created saying that, okay, these stocks, in my opinion, are work from home. Let's say on Friday, from that list that I was watching, only Alibaba was down, Chewy was down, Shopify, DocuSign, DDoG, Electronic Arts, but everything else was green, and the biggest gainer was Spotify from that list. And I could do the same thing. I could just go to Index Watch on top, come here, pull up my work from home list, and it will give me, okay, so I had on my list 49 stocks, and from that 49, 36 were advancing, pushing higher, and 13 were declining. And there's also very, key, if you're options trader, very key data right here on, on this last column, where it says put to call ratio. You could see for all stocks gathered together, what's the put to call ratio. When put to call ratio is more than one, look at it. So on stocks that were advancing, that were pushing higher, put to call ratio was down. So that means there were um, more call buyers than put buyers. But on declining stocks, 13 stocks, look at the put to call ratio, 1.12 which means there were more people buying puts. And same thing right here, uh, you could just go through your cursor and say, okay, so throughout the day, okay, the highest mover, like high over there had like Pinduoduo had very high there, but it closed lower at 3.8%. Uh, so, I mean, it still went up, but the biggest gainer was Spotify and Zillow. Spotify was up. 5.6%, Zillow was up 5.4%. So I think if you can utilize this tool, it could be very, very helpful. And um, I think from here, this is all I had to say about this. So Thinkorswim, very, very, very powerful tool. I think there are, I will be making more of these videos like this, but um, for now, heat map please do use it and if it was helpful drop a like subscribe to the channel that's it take care peace